We live in a world run by capitalism. And the economic principles laid out in capitalism were established by Adam Smith in his book Wealth of Nations. However, many of Smith's views and assumptions, for that matter, have been proven to be incorrect as time went on. The first assumption that he got wrong was the idea that people were primarily self-interested. This led Smith to believe that people in a free market economy would always act to maximize profits, which he also then believed would create prosperity for the entire society. But in reality, people were motivated by several different reasons, including things like empathy, altruism, and a sense of caring for those around you. And as an example of using climate change, the entire planet. People have more social responsibility than Adam Smith ever believed. Another fallacy, Smith believed that competition would always create lower prices, or at least prices that were fair and equitable, and that people would continue to innovate to make prices even lower. Well, we know that's also false, because nowadays so many companies have near oligopoly or monopoly status, or status of localized monopolies. For example, your cable company. You don't have any choices. So the prices can remain high and they keep rising, especially after the pandemic and the inflation. Often, large companies and corporations have so much of power that they can just squash their competition. They also have, for example, using OPEC as an example, control prices and exploit consumers and citizens at the same time. Finally, and probably most importantly, Smith failed on the idea that government didn't need to be involved. They didn't need regulation. The whole idea of the laissez-faire free hand of economics. Well, we've learned so much since Wealth of Nations was written. Specifically, we know that through industrialization and the Industrial Revolution, we're polluting and killing our atmosphere. We're polluting our air. We're polluting our water. We're polluting our land. If it wasn't for government, companies would keep doing this. Regulation is important, and anyone who tells you otherwise is lying, or they have a hidden agenda. Usually, it's their own wealth or preservation thereof. Since Adam Smith's time, we know the importance of government and the importance of regulations to keep us from having a monopolistic economy, from polluting, from creating toxic environments, from creating safeguards for AI. In summation, Adam Smith was probably ahead of his time, but also a person of his time. And time has proven Adam Smith wrong. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.